This RV walkthrough video is Wingman approved and has compliments of Berryland Campers, a member of the RV Dealers I Trust Network. Well, hey everybody, welcome to today's video and to the only channel on YouTube that I know of that features both new and used RV walkthrough videos from a variety of dealers. And every one of these dealers is Wingman approved. Now up now is a look at a, it's a brand new 2024 Forester 3011 DSF. I really like this class C. It's a skosh over 32 feet long. It runs on gas. I like the layout inside and I flat love the colors of it outside. And it's another coach that I think is just right for couples. Now to do the walkthrough is my friend over at Berryland, Jock Milton. If you are looking for a coach, pretty much any kind of coach, I hope that you'll contact Jock. He is super smart and a great resource. His contact info is in the description down below. Hi guys, thanks for tuning in. This is Jock with Berryland Campers in Pontchartrain, Louisiana. Today I wanted to do a demo on a new 3011 Forester by Forest River that we just got in. This coach is equipped with just about every option I could throw at it. Um, we do extremely well with this floor plan and have since it was debuted in 2012. Um, of course, you can see beautiful full body paint, has a nice blue color, uh, a light silver, and maybe a charcoal gray as well. Um, just wanted to do a quick little overview before I kind of start going through a few of the compartments. Go back to the front here. You'll notice it has fiberglass running boards, which are painted extremely nice as well. A lot of them are just aluminum. You'll have the fiberglass front cap. May or may not be able to see it in the video here, but this has a 3M front bra. So around the front there that you'll get rock chipped or around here down south, love bugs. It'll make it a little easier to get them off your paint and not damage the actual paint. This coach does have backup and side cameras. And that'll be the side camera there. You have Exterior TV. One neat thing they added is the magnetic latches that hold the compartment doors up. That way you don't have to latch anything. Makes life a little easier. This does have the pull out swivel hinge on the TV, which is one of the only class C's that I know of that is going to allow you to pivot the TV for better viewing angles. You'll also notice that you can move the TV out of the way completely to allow or gain access to the trash drop from the inside counter as well as take the trash out. All the compartments are rotocast plastic. Easy to wipe, bleach, clean, whatever you need to do. I won't go through all the compartments in this, but I'll go through several of the main ones. I like hitting on this one as well. Again, rotocast, but you'll see it has Firestone Rod Right. This coach is also equipped with a Helwig sway bar and Bilstein shocks over the regular Ford. You'll notice this coach is equipped with a kind of a polar package. Um, behind this panel, you'll see your water items such as water pump, low point drains. What's nice is it has forced heat. So anytime your heater is on, it's also going into that compartment where all your water lines are. This compartment's unique. I like going over this one in depth because this little ring, you can kind of see it here, will allow you to put a two by four lifetime table in that ring and it locks in place. So instead of hearing it, you know, bang around while you drive, it'll actually lock in there and it actually will make this compartment flat at that point. So it's, you know, one piece all the way across and you can do it on both sides. I'll show you from the other side in a moment. You do have LED lights in compartments as well. As you have the LP Quick Connect if you want to do exterior grilling, if you happen to be tailgating or camping outside while watching that TV. We'll go around the back here. See the backup camera up top. And this coach just came in. That's why you're going to notice some of the road film and the number still on the exterior. And again, you'll see the unscrew weep hole there. Like I said, if you want to clean it out, 
as well as that track that you can put that table in, or if you wanted to put two, one on each side. Cable inlet, 30 amp supply. Even though this coach is only 30 amp, it still has two roof ACs, which is gonna be nice down south. Um, this compartment is a good one to go over as well. Outside shower, hot cold water, dumps for your black and gray. The other inlet for that Ride Right Firestone product. And again, any of this stuff you have questions on, feel free to contact me. I'll provide my contact with the information um, and the information at the end, and that way you can reach out and I can go in depth on anything you have questions. You do have slide toppers on both slides. That's storage there and that long one all the way across. Storage in the smaller one, again, Rotocast. That one there is going to be your generator, enough to run the whole entire motorhome. That's a Yamaha NPS product, side camera. E450 chassis, which is going to have the 7.3 liter Ford engine. Um, anything chassis related 2020 or newer from Ford is going to have that product. It's been well received so far. Right, we'll go inside. One thing that I like to start with here is most manufacturers just have the radio and they throw everything into that. Well, this manufacturer actually understands the importance of having the dual monitoring, which is nice. You can have your GPS or Apple, you know, CarPlay, whatever you have on the main screen, right? And you'll see this camera here. That'll be, I mean, that screen there will be strictly for cameras, whether it be backup or side. It'll show them at all times, by the way. That little box there is for GPS tracking. A little microphone just above the grab handle is going to be for Bluetooth. Typical AC, cruise control, power locks, power windows. These both swivel in this model, the way we ordered it, it is an option. Again, we ordered this one pretty heavily. Um, when these are swiveled around, it allows you to have a great conversation pit here with the rest of the folks inside the motorhome. As well as when you're sitting in these swiveled, you have great TV viewing. That's another thing that's helped this coach make number one floor plan for as many years as it has. Whether it be the outside of the motorhome or the inside, it pairs extremely well. With entertainment, it's good for two, four, six, you know, whatever you want to really bring in here, as long as it's not too terribly many. But we have bunkhouse models for that. Um, before we leave this area, I want to go over this. Um, you do have vented ductwork all the way up front, which is nice because a lot of your manufacturers stop that and does not go past the bunk cab area which means whenever you pull this curtain, they won't actually have ventilation up here. You'll see two side windows on each side where most manufacturers, if they have a window, it's going to be up front, which we've seen in the past. It's going to provide a little more um, safety versus that front window due to water being pushed in roughly at 60, 70 miles per hour, whatever you're traveling at. So having the pass-through windows is nice because if you want to, you know, open them once you're parked, you'll get a little pass-through breeze there. wireless charging. This is that trash dump. Nice sink with fixtures. Very roomy. Of course, the pink stuff is not Kool-Aid. It's uh, actually antifreeze. Um, it just came from Indiana. So again, that's what you're going to be seeing a little bit of. Again, storage Force River Class C's, they, they definitely pack every bit they can in. And throw hidden stuff at you all the time. This is a 12-volt TV as well, so you can watch it going down the road without gin. Again, storage. While we're on that, you'll see from end to end on the slide box there. They use ball-bearing drawer glides on the end, which is nice. So these come out 100%, so it's easy to access. Soft close. These are push button electric with charging port. And a little storage cubby here. MCD shades, which is nice versus the old school accordion type. 12 volt fridge. And one thing I do like that they did is they got rid of the microwave and stove combination, taking storage, storage from both areas. So what they did was is alleviate the regular oven, put the microwave down low, and that way you get the two top cabinets where you would usually lose the above and underneath the stovetop. So 
that's extremely nice and helpful. And again, I'm just going to do a little backup view here to show you all the overall storage. Electronic panels. It also has AGS, Autogen Start. Your panels here for your generator, water pump, heater, water heater, all that stuff, you know, thermostat, all of it's right here. You do have pantry, pull out pantry, your regular shelving up top. And this is that two way fridge that you can open from left or right on the fridge or freezer. Storage behind that TV, and you'll notice that there's plenty of wardrobe cabinetry there. That's that second AC here. There's no storage down low, really, um, just a few drawers, but you can't access them whenever you're traveling because this bed does go up against those drawers. But with that being said, it's not a full bed. So you can still sleep in this bed going down the road. You just can't walk around it, which is nice because a lot of models take that from you. So one thing I want to bring up is privacy in motorhomes is always crucial. This door for the toilet room doubles double back and fills that void there. So it's kind of a two-way door. It's really nice. Um, and you'll notice here, cabinetry, storage, porcelain toilet. Um, let's see. I'm open the shower for you. Little neat features to add. Towel racks. It's always great to have that kind of stuff. And again, just a quick walk through. Jock Milton, Berryland Campers, Ponchatoula, Louisiana. Please let me know how I can further assist. Utilize me. 985-351-0885 is my cell phone. One thing I did forget to mention is the seats do swivel, but they have the boosters as well, which is nice because they give you a little lift. That way you're sitting properly or more natural when the seat is swiveled. Again, Jock Milton, Berryland Campers. Thanks for watching. Berryland Campers is a Wingman approved dealer and a member of the RV Dealers I Trust Network.